Hello and welcome to the Watch Kaki channel where we bring you all the good and honest watch reviews. For today's watch review, we have this one here called the Green Tuna Homage from St. Martin Watches. Before we begin the review, make sure you remember to click the subscribe button. Well, this watch here has a diameter of 47mm. It is 14.5mm thick with a dome sapphire crystal. The lug width is 22mm and it has a really short lug length of 44mm thereby making the watch very wearable. The watch is priced at US $249, also very affordable for a watch this well made. Powering the watch is the NH35 movement from Seiko. It is hand windable, automatic and it also has a hacking function. So this movement is really robust, reliable and it is no wonder why many micro brand watches actually use it. This watch here is a loan set from St. Martin watches and today I'm very safe because no one is going to give me a kick on my handsome face or other parts of my body because hey, I didn't buy a new watch. But I do have to send this watch back after the review. What I did was I spoke to St. Martin watches on Instagram and this guy called Glenn, I tell you what, he's a great guy. He has helped me greatly in securing this watch for a loan for this video review. Thank you very much Glenn, you're a great guy. The watch came in a really solid looking box made from synthetic leather. It's got a nice watch pillow, very solid. Hang tag. Let's see what's underneath the tray. We've got some glove looking thing here. I assume it's for cleaning the watch or handling the watch. Instruction booklet. Warranty card. And it's good that St. Martin has also included a strap change tool here. All very useful accessories. I'm really impressed by the packaging here. Good stuff. Let's talk about the design and build of the watch. Obviously this watch is a homage to the Seiko Tuna and this is done in green, all green. Green dial, green bezel, even a green strap. While we're at it, maybe we'll just call the watch a Froggy Tuna or Hoka Tuna. So the watch also has a unique looking kind of a casing. The shroud, the bezel, and the crown. I think they're treated with some sort of a PVD gunmetal finish, which gives off a very vintage, a relic looking vibe. I think it's really attractive. And the coating doesn't seem like it will flick off easily. If I run my fingers around, I can feel the grains of the of the metal polishing, the brushing, sorry. And I don't think you will flake off that easily. And the dial is finished in green, sort of a matte type of finish. It's not glossy or it's not sunburst. For white chapter ring. The markers are raised, I think they are called a step dial. They're not applied, but it's raised on a different level from the main dial. The St. Martin logo and the words are printed in white. Got a nice looking black date wheel, which I prefer over a white one. The white chapter ring gives off the minute markers along with the dots here along the bezel. Now the bezel here is made of sapphire, I think. So I think it doesn't scratch as easily. And later on, we'll go on to a loom shot where the dots, the hands, even the bezel will be loomed. Now the crown here is also signed with the shark motif logo. Can't really see it clearly due to the PVD coating, but it is actually nicely stamped or engraved along with the case back, which is fully polished. Got the shark motif and some description here of the watch model, such as uh, the specs, the movement, and as you can see, it's got a sapphire crystal as well. This green tuna that I'm reviewing comes with a green strap, obviously. To my surprise, the strap is very well made, soft, thick, very comfortable to wear. Also has a St. Martin logo. Comes with a PVD finish buckle to match the rest of the watch casing. So all in all, this is a really nice put together package. And for a watch of this price and quality, I would say it has far exceeded my expectations. Everything is very well made nicely put together. I run my fingers around the watch case. 
you know, no shoddy work, everything is nicely polished or brushed, fits nicely, and you also have a very nice firm and tight 60 click bezel. Alright, bit of back play going on. Alright, but nothing much to cause an alarm, especially at this price point. All the markers are nicely aligned, hands are aligned, the prints are actually well made as well. So no smudge or anything like that on the dial. Right. So obviously for a watch like this, a Seiko Diver homage, a Tuna homage, everyone will be very interested to find out how the loom looks like. Let's take a look after I switch off the lights. Boom. Wow. So you can see how bright the loom really is. You've got triangles, uh, loom dots, even the bezel is fully loom. Very impressive. This one really lights up the room. So if you want to wear this to the cinema, I think it's not a very good idea. Let's do a size comparison between the San Martin Tuna and a watch that most people are familiar with. For today's comparison, I have a loan set for my buddy. This is the SKX, which is modified, heavily modified with a yellow dial, new bezel and even a new bracelet. On the right is the review watch for today, the green tuna. One look and we can tell the tuna is much bigger due to the 47mm case mostly due to the huge shroud covering and also partly because of the dome sapphire crystal. Let me try to remove both watches from the watch stand and we'll take a look at the watches face on. Now looking at the watches face on, you will notice that the actual watch dial and bezel, they're not that different. They're about 40 to 41 millimeters. But one more look at the lug length you will notice that the tuna actually has a shorter lug length thereby I believe it makes the watch more wearable, more comfortable and also in terms of thickness they are very much equal the difference being the tuna here has a dome sapphire crystal which makes it slightly taller here's how the watch looks on my 6.8 inch or 17 centimeters wrist so you can see it's not very big despite the 47 millimeters diameter mainly because of the really short lux or rather almost no lux at all it's a really comfortable soft rubber strap another reason why the watch wears very comfortably and very well is because the diameter is only referring to the base of the watch now I'm going to bring it closer to the camera so you can see here at the base of the watch is the widest and the watch actually slopes up and gets smaller all right in reality the bezel is only about 40 or 41 millimeters so if you look at the watch head on it's no big deal it's not very big of course having a four o'clock uh, crown makes the watch more comfortable as well all right on more this watch is really comfortable all in all a very good watch for the money you pay us dollars 220 you get a watch that is very nicely put together Great materials, unique type of coating here, PVD, vintage vibes look. Great loom, this one shines like a torch. Right, don't wear this to the cinema, you will really get scolded and chased out of the room. Nice dome sapphire crystal. It's great materials all around, right, hands all aligned properly. Even the strap is very comfortable. Having told you all about the great things about this watch, there is something that I didn't like about it. Well, the NH35 movement has a really loud and noisy rotor. Let me try to shake it and see if you can hear the loud rotor over the microphone here. Alright, so it gets a bit annoying when you wear it uh, at quiet places, especially when you're in the car or if you're alone in a quiet library. You can actually hear the rotor working. I'll rate this way above the Seiko 5 watches. It's got a sapphire crystal, screw down crown, 300 meters water resistance, the movement hex and hand winds. I'll say this watch compares very well even against Seiko Sumos or Seiko Samurais. And those watches are usually about five to eight hundred dollars. So this one costs only 249 US dollars. I would say this is a great buy. I hope you find the video useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel I'll see you again soon. Thank you.
you know for such a watch you wouldn't want to make it angry because it's already green it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and then it's just going to smash you in the face Powering the watch is a very common, uh, I don't know what it is. Now having said that... Ah! What you gonna do when the whole tuna runs well on you? Ah.